here to do a review on Triumph Innovations, their Extreme Bright Pro Series Lantern with remote control. That's the key here. I'm excited about the remote control. <laughs> and I know my guys are. So I unwrapped it, but I haven't done anything else with it. So um, it needs to be batteries in and everything else. So obviously here's the remote. And it just has a little clip hook here. Let's see if we can get it off. Wow, I guess left-handed, I can't do it. Okay, there we go. So the remote, and it's a 24 LED lantern, and the remote supposedly will work up to, um, it's an IR, and it'll work about 20 feet away. Okay, so you unscrew the bottom, and it takes 3D batteries, which you have to supply. So, fortunately, I have deep batteries. I'm one of those people who believes in being prepared in any storm. We live on the coast. On a typical day, we could have beautiful, hot, sunny weather, and then out of the blue, we'll have 60, 70 mile an hour winds for no reason. And power will go out, trees get blown over, <laughs> and it'll just be, and it'll last, what, for 30 minutes? Not even. And then it goes away. So we always have plenty of lights. I believe every house should have um, a headlamp a handheld flashlight and a lantern per person in household. There's the only really truly way to be prepared for just some of the basic necessities and and you'd be amazed. Everyone's like, thanks, well I know how to get around, everything will be fine. But as soon as the lights go out, it's amazing how people panic. I was a nurse for so long and the calmest people, you think hard as a rock, diehards, they fall the fastest. <laughs> They freak out the fast because all of a sudden they're like they're not in control. So we have plenty of lights in this home. I think I put the batteries in the upside down, so let me go back and try that. I'm too busy talking and not paying attention. Oh yeah, see the little heads, I guess. I guess I should line it up. There's a way to put it in here and I didn't pay attention. Hmm. Well, we're gonna have to have trial and error here. Oh wait, here's an arrow. And here's an arrow. Are you going to put the arrows in together? I'll try it that way. No? Let's see. There's an arrow on both sides. Isn't that tricky? Aha. It seems to fit in better. Yep. All right. Let me put the... There is an arrow here. You can barely see it in the plastic. And an arrow here. So the silver side on the thing needs to be showing. Instead of doing trial and error like I did. Maybe if you actually paid attention, you could have gotten it the first try. <laughs> All right. What they say? Doesn't thread the back trick it? No, backtrack it and it'll thread right away. So you have the handle. So, um, oh, look at that. That's some neat features to the handle. There's a, um, a compass on the handle. Interesting. So I know east is behind me. West. All right. Let's see. Put north. I don't know if it's right. Okay. You push that. Let's see if it has any more settings. Oh, it's like really bright. <laughs> Does it have just on and off? Okay. Now let's see if we can. I didn't put batteries in here. I didn't read about that on the box. Let's see if it's set. Nope. This takes two AAA batteries, and look at that. I brought all kinds of batteries out with me. I'm good. All right. They do not have that printed on the box. Oh, I didn't see it. All right. Ha! <laughs> Watch. Off, on, off, on. You can play with it all day. <laughs> I really like that. Let's see if I... No, oh, she needs it. Yeah, there we go. Well, not too fun. And it looks like there's a hook in the handle. But the question is, can I figure it out? Aha! There it is. There's a hook. So you can either, if you don't, if you can't hang it that way, if you don't have anything fat enough, look at that, you have a thin hook that comes out, too. It's pretty neat. I like that. Um, we always try and hang, like, um, our power went out and uh, we hung um, 
a light up on the shower curtain rod so we didn't have to walk my son up and down. We just left the lights on there. We had everything jiggy right that night with the lights. Okay, so it's still on with that. Ha! <laughs> See, I could sit there and just play with that on. And my son, I'm sure he will. He's like me. It's rubbery back here on the bottom, so it's not going to slide around. You can't really see me, but I was trying to. Here, it's on the laptop. Well, it's going to slide more on the laptop. And it's rubbery up here. Let's read some of the stuff on the box here. I already told you about the remote will work 20 feet away. The 3D batteries. It has 24 LEDs. I think I have the list. Let's see. It has multiple settings. I didn't figure that one out. Hmm. If I hold it, will it change? Let's see. Click button twice to turn it off and maybe completely off. No? Look at this button. Ah! There we go. After I activate it with remote, you have to actually turn it two times to get it completely off. And that little red button's not on anymore. Okay, what else do we need to do? Click button once to turn on activate remote mode for easy off and on. Okay, so I have to click this once. And once that's clicked, then I can activate it with the remote. And then we have to click it twice to turn it off. And now the remote won't work. So it won't be accidentally done. Okay. That's easy. Oh, they're like printed out easily on the box, which is good too. You don't have to get that little tiny piece of paper and try and figure out what it says. <laughs> it's pretty written out clear. <laughs> Try to think. It doesn't. I can't figure out. I think that's just the settings. Then it would be with the, how it works with the remote because it's just the 24 super bright LED lights, and I love the LED lights. The LEDs last so much longer than regular bulbs. I could drop this. Of course, I might break the mechanism where the batteries go, but you're not going to break the LEDs. <laughs> they last so much longer. I can drop my flashlights now all the time, not to worry about it, because the LEDs don't break like the bulbs used to. Then you have to order special bulbs. It's not like that anymore. And I think LED lights a lot clearer, and it's a lot brighter. And um, um, I have a lot of anaphylactic reactions, a lot of issues with my eyes because of those. And so I like things to be bright and clear. So um, I really appreciate LED lighting. So this is... Um, the um the extreme bright pro series elite lantern and it's available on amazon thanks